Hey everyone, Mac is back. Today I want to talk about the awakening turntable that will appear every time a commander is awakened. And it's uh, basically an easy way to get medals and tokens for that uh, commander. I want to tell you how to do that and, and why you want to do that um, to a certain point, uh, depending on what you want to spend. Um, to, on that commander. So uh, we're gonna today. We're, example we're gonna use is Ray, since she was just recently awakened. So let's get to it. First and foremost, you have to have your commander to gold quality. If they're not a gold quality, you'll miss out on some of the uh, the tokens that you'll be able to get for uh, the commander. So make sure that your command that, that you have your all commander already to gold. You can see over here that Ray is already at gold. Um, I've already upgraded her as well. Um, we'll get into that in a second, but just make sure that you have them to gold because you're going to be able to uh, to claim the rewards. You already have to have that to happen. So the biggest thing is to kind of grind through, you know, uh, weekly to try to get the the commander that you want to gold, which in this case is Ray. And when you have your commander to gold, you go up here to that uh, turn that awakening turntable. So you have the hero's awakening and you have the awakening turntable. If you click on the turntable here, they give you uh, each day. So this should be three days of this. Uh, three days of a free spin on this wheel and each day you can also be able to purchase uh, one of the uh, an extra awakening stone as well so you can spin it twice so being able to do that you get an opportunity this wheel will be different depending on if you have ray to gold already these will these actually be ray tokens if you don't these will be ray metals and there'll be a, a different quantity of them as well and you'll also have uh, something similar on this wheel also uh, so just make sure that you use uh, all these tokens that uh, that they give you and reach every day now looking over here to heroes awakening uh, if they reach common quality you can get you can get um, this is if Ray is in at gold you'll get some uh, some metals and you can actually convert those to uh, tokens and then the uncommon quality you get five more the rare you get five and the epic you get five and of course the legendary which is what I was talking about that's where you start to get the Ray tokens so if you just have Ray uh, legendary status which is gold then you get those uh, extra 10 tokens here and then you want to make sure that you activate the tier 0 hidden abilities and those are using the books so if we go back to Ray uh, in uh, in here if that's where you use the books like I, I already have her up to um, you know her two stars but those books are on those first tier those first one uh, tier one books are the ones you're going to use be able to upgrade her and be able to when you do that you have to get that first level and once you have uh, the, those tier one books done the tier the reaches tier one is basically reaching uh, that that very first star so once reaches that first star you can get the uh, you can get these as well you get some more, more random books with them plus some diamonds then you want to use those tier two books to be able to get her to, to get those 15 uh, uh, you know there's this 15 tokens there as well then reaches tier two um, and after reaches tier two you can claim those and then it, then if you put those uh, tier three books in there that's when you can get ray and get these 25 extra tokens as well on top of that so you can actually work towards that tier three uh, the reason that i recommend getting it just getting her just a tier two uh, or to two stars is because of the uh, tavern ability that the what you're going to get with her uh, in the tavern and you want to check on most of these commanders to see if it's worth getting to, to, to that second star because sometimes they're not uh, in this case they are so we'll go to to Ray in the tavern and as you can see in the tavern she has before the awakening she would have four combat stars and th uh, three leadership cards uh, stars so very very nice to have that and that's exactly what we're looking for when we're in PvP so the combat rate and the leadership so make sure that you get her to two stars just for that she does take jewelry and my last little tip for this uh, awakening wheel uh, turntable basically is that you don't really need to go to tier 3 or tier 4. You can see there are no more hidden abilities that they're going to give you bonuses for. And to get to tier 3 and to tier 4, you're only getting these random books of wisdom, uh, which are fine. They're okay to get um, to be able to upgrade her if you're, if you're actually going for Ray to, uh, to increase her. So as, as you can see, I own 25 of these. That, that, that gives me that just extra 25 to be able to get her to... Uh, tier three, if I want to, because tier three is where we're going to upgrade her stats for her, uh, you know, with her ability, uh, you know, her uh, PvP ability. So um, it's very nice to be able to do this, but you don't have to do this. Um, I, like I said, I recommend just getting her to tier to two stars. 
and uh, getting that those those taverns. And if you want to use her in your your lineup, then go even further than that. So I hope this gives you a better uh, look at what uh, what to do here and my recommendations about how far you want to upgrade each commander when uh, this uh, when they are actually awakened. So till next time, back out.